past three decades, the small-scale sector has played an increasingly important role in the growth and development of the Jamaican economy. This sector contributes significantly to employment and job creation. Latest figures reveal that small enterprises account for more than 35% of the employed labor force and that over 100,000 small and micro enterprises are in operation across the island. The National Industrial Policy has embraced the critical role of the sector and includes special provisions to support the growth of the sector as a direct and sustainable approach to poverty alleviation. Small enterprises have had a positive impact on the economic life of their local communities. The lessons which can be drawn from these projects can guide policymakers as well as community development organizations seeking to establish similar income generating projects within their communities. The Mountain Pass Poultry Rearing Project is a successful agro-based income generating project which was facilitated by the strong social bonds within the community. The project, which received funding from UNESCO in 1999, sought to establish a sustainable livelihood to empower the members of the Mountain Pass Women's Group. Mountain Pass is a small rural community located in the hills of northwest St. Catherine and has a population of approximately 400. Most of these residents fall below the poverty line and are engaged in subsistence or backyard farming, seasonal higlering in the Linstead market, and summer laborers on the private sugarcane and citrus estates in the area. The Mountain Pass Women's Group was established with the assistance of the Home Economics Unit of RADA in 1992. Starting the Women's Group was a relatively easy task as the community is a closely knit one and the members naturally work well together. There was a great need to establish a home-based income generating project in the area because most of the women were unemployed single mothers unable to properly care for their children. After a series of consultations with RADA extension officers it was decided that chicken rearing would be the most suitable project given the land space available to the women. Also, several members of the group had prior experience in chicken rearing and were keen to increase their involvement in this area. The head of the RADA Home Economics Unit sought assistance from Jamaica's First Lady, Ivy Cook. She made a visit to Mountain Pass and was impressed with the spirit of cooperation in the community and the well-organized reception prepared for her. With assistance from RADA and the Bureau of Women's Affairs, she approached Jamaica Commission for UNESCO for support. They responded positively and provided funding to cover most of the startup costs of the project. The project provided 12 women with all the inputs required to start their poultry rearing businesses and sustain it for one six-week growing cycle. The inputs that the ladies received from the project included um, being totally outfitted with a new cope. We stocked the copes and we gave them each chickens, waterers, feeders, along with enough feed to last them for the six weeks because the growth cycle of chickens is for six weeks. So we gave them enough input so that it could last them from the beginning, the re rearing of them up to the end when they would have to process them. RADA provided technical training in all aspects of chicken rearing, included building the coops, caring for the livestock, slaughtering and packaging for the sale. And you know it helped me a lot in knowing about the development of the, the, the poultry diseases and many other things because I didn't know that when certain things happened to the chicken what to do and because of doing that I seek advice and I have learned so much how to deal with them so when anything happened to them I know exactly what to do. Having received all the required inputs the women were responsible for identifying a market for their output. In spite of the difficulties imposed by the poor road conditions and the high cost of transportation, these women have showed much initiative in finding buyers for their poultry. The women sell their poultry to restaurants and shops, not only within their community, but also throughout the parish and as far afield as Kingston. Three of the women in the group, 
were able to qualify for a loan from ECA, the Inter-American Institute for Cooperation on Agriculture. Well, this loan has helped me to build a bigger coop and to put in more chickens. And it's also helped me that I can put in um, other batch in every three weeks. This project had two special components, which helped to make the project a success. The first was the creation of a cooperative management structure for the women's group. The second important component of this project was the institutional strengthening of the Mountain Pass Women's Group. In order to help these women make the transition from being group members to business associates, the Bureau of Women's Affairs provided training in several key areas, including group dynamics and team building at the start of the project. This element helped to reinforce the existing bonds between group members and was critical to the project's success. The women also received training in communication, information sharing, accounting, and business management. The group dynamics training taught them how to resolve their conflicts, how to react with each other, and how to treat each other properly. So therefore, that the project could go on and revolve because you cannot have people in conflict and you're going to be business partners. So the whole idea behind the whole thing was to teach them how to resolve these problems and when they do arise. The increased income being generated by these poultry rearers has had a significant impact on the economic life of the community. Other members of the community, seeing the success of their pairs, have also entered the poultry business. The unemployed young men in the area have been able to get jobs in coop construction and repairs, slaughtering and preparing the chicken meat for sale. Retailers have been able to expand their businesses by supplying the poultry rearers with day-old chicks feed, medicine, and other inputs to the process. The poultry rearing has been a blessing to the young mothers of this community. I have seen where some of the mothers who couldn't able to send, send their children to school, from this project, they can do that, pay their school fees, and send their children to school.